Hey, welcome to Life with Wine. I'm Lisa. I'm Sarah. And today we start our new series, Wine, wine Battles. battles. Ah. <laughs> because I'm fairly certain I choose the best wine and, you know. You know, no. <laughs> But, you know, so instead of actually guessing at who chooses the best wine, we've decided we're going to uh, battle it out. We are going to have to invest in a scoreboard, though. Yeah, so, but uh, normally you would see us, so, okay, I guess we'll, we'll do this. Here are the rules. The rules are we go and we pick out a bottle of wine in a selected category. We have our handy-dandy picker-chooser here where we've got all kinds of things. We have already pre-drawn this week's selection and it is Tempranillo. So we thought we'd give you a little bit of background on exactly what makes a Tempranillo. Tempranillo is a actual grape. You're gonna find these as a varietal of wine. You'll find them in red blends and things like that, but mostly just as Tempranillo. Yep, they're usually mm -hmm. in Spain, Argentina, and Portugal. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit of history says the grapes were actually brought over from Lebanon many, many years ago. That's craziness. I know. Huh? And there is an international Tempranillo holiday. <gasps> November 8th is Tempranillo Day. I think we shall be celebrating. Absolutely. Yep. You know, but Tempranillo is one of those types of wines that's a little bit more sour, and that's because the, the grape itself, it's got a little bit of a thinner skin, and it just, that's how, when it when it ages, they, I guess they age them in oak in, in general. Yep, yeah. and there are like four different mm -hmm. categories for it um, based on how long they're aged. It's all mm -hmm. in Spanish, so. Yeah. You know, we went looking for the categories on our bottles of wine and. We don't have those categories. I think they're lying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But Either anyway. that or they've moved away from that method and that's just an old method of. Of categorizing the yeah. different Tempranillos. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. All I know is Tempranillo, it's it's pretty decent, yeah. you know? It says it's on the medium body, so and the, the chart I saw showed Pinot Noir at the light end, Tempranillo in the middle, and Syrah on the full bodied end. I would say Syrah so, is heavier, but you know what? I've had a lot of Pinots that are yeah. heavier than the Tempranillos. Yeah, maybe so. we just we will have to bottle more Tempranillos in the future. I guess so. So I don't know, but at any rate, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna get to the battle here. So today we are in Bevmo. Holy cow. The what? I said holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be using the Vivino app to rate wines for our wine battle. So today we're doing Tempranillos. So we've lined up all of the different Tempranillo bottles down here that we can't have see. to choose from. <laughs> And I am going to use the Vivino app. So for the first one here, you use the app and you just take a picture of the front label. Use. It's slow. Aha! So it tells me that this Tempranillo is rated a 3.4 on a five star scale. And it also tells you a little bit about the wine. Uh, and then it gives you people's reviews on it. So you can read through their reviews to decide which one you want to try. For me today, I'm gonna use my bottle liking skills and just pick one that I like the bottle of. <laughs> which one do you like? <laughs> Let's see. We got a couple to choose from here. I... You picked a pretty limited category, but that's okay. Yeah. I like to read the back, too. Ripe red fruit with spices and vanilla. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Or this one. Strawberries and sweet vanilla. Ooh, that might be nice. Mm. Now let's see what are my price differences. This is 12 and this one is 11. Oh, so that's the same. I think I'm gonna go with the Cottis. Okay. This is going to be my pick. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, there's not a whole lot of science to picking wine. You can use the app, but for us, it's more about, ooh, it's pretty. Actually, I'm gonna see what's on this one. This one caught my eye originally. Is that a Tempranillo? Yep, it's a Tempranillo. Oh, I forgot one about that one up there. Wild berries and light vanilla. That might be nice. That might be nice. Of course, we gotta go with something, the loco wine, Casa Oh, there's no, there's no description on this one. And then this was my other one that caught my eye. 
This is a biscotto, which means most wanted. Ooh. Mm. Okay. You know, I think, I think I'm gonna go with this one. So I'm gonna take the biscotto Tempranillo and hmm. see how that works out. What's the price on that one? So this one was $9.95. This one is, it looks like it's, uh, $11.95 and it's also okay. five cents so I can get a second bottle of this for five cents. Uh -huh, bonus. I know, so if it's good, that would be a good thing. Heck yes. All right. All right. So these are our choices. So we're going to go back and actually battle it out. That's right. So, what we did, we went to Bevmo, we picked out some Tempranillos. Uh, she picked out one, I picked out one, and we're going to battle it out. Yep. And what we're doing is a double blind tasting. Meaning, I'm going to start opening these while you're telling them the rules. Yep, so we do a double blind tasting. She pours her bottles of wine, or uh, a good size t uh, tasting, into some wine glasses labeled one and two. She doesn't know, but I'm going to pour one and two into our tasting glasses and she won't know is one one or is one two. We're not really sure. I know it sounds a little confusing, but that's what a double blind is. I'll probably be confused during this process. The rules haven't quite yet sunk in. <laughs> so after we've tasted, we will choose a victory wine and we'll figure out which one is actually which. And the winner gets to choose next week's challenge. So that's how this so, is going to work. We have poured up the wine. What we did mm -hmm. is I went into the kitchen, opened the wine bottles, poured them into two separate wine glasses labeled one and two. And then I came and set those glasses on the table. I left the room and Sarah took glasses one and two and poured them in each of our respective cups. Yep. That's how we get the double blind. Yep. I'm no longer confused. <laughs> Yeah, so I know it sounds like it sounds like a lot of effort, but basically I have no idea where my bottle of wine is and she has no idea where her bottle of wine is. We are just going to straight up test and yeah. taste. So let's introduce the bottles of wine that we're actually battling it out today. All right, since we were doing Tempranillos, this one was my pick. It is Cottis, mm. the 2012 Tempranillo. Yum, yum. Um, yeah, it goes with a bouquet of... Summer strawberries, hint of vanilla, ripe cherry. That was what piqued my interest. Sounds good. Yeah. Where I went with Buscato. Uh, it's the brand. Tempranillo is the type. Uh, what caught me on this is uh, Buscato apparently means most wanted. So it sounded interesting and the bottle was pretty. So yes, I, I was very scientific in my choice here. I, I went by label too. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start with number one. Not quite sure which one this is, but mm, smells nice. It smells like cherry. Mm, mine smells very cherry too. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like it. I do like it. It's almost like a deep black cherry. Deep black cherry covered in wine. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, but it's kind of got a soury aftertaste. Hmm. This one to me is just very rubbing alcohol tasting. It's like the first red wine I ever tried that I didn't like. It tastes like rubbing alcohol. Not a fan. Hmm. It's okay. It's not my favorite wine ever, but it's okay. Okay, so we're gonna move on to, whew, it is, that one's a harsh one, a little bit, mm -hmm. a little bit. Hmm, okay. Did we both have the same number one? Yep, we both have the same, so we both, what's in one, we're both drinking the same wine right now. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Okay, so now this is num wine number two. It smells about the same, truthfully. This one doesn't smell as alcoholic. Ooh, I like that. This one's more sour, but I like it. But it doesn't taste like rubbing alcohol. Yeah, it's more sour, but in in general terms, I think it's actually just more mellow. Yeah, I, I like that. I'm gonna go. Yeah. Hmm. I just don't think in general Tempranillo is one of my favorites. No. You know? No, but of the two, I would have to go with number two. I would have to go with number two as well. 
So we have a winner. It is wine number two. So into these, from your glasses, I poured your number one and your number two. <laughs> All right, Okay. so you are the winner. Woo! Look at me go! <laughs> See, that's how it works. You pick a pretty label and sometimes you get really great wine. Woohoo! See, I win. <laughs> I don't right. know. I mean, <laughs> fine. Next time is my turn. Yeah, but I'm picking the categories. So, here we go. Here we go. Pinot Noir, Pinot Noir, Pinot Noir. <laughs> We're going to go with. Okay, so here it is. And of course, we use our, our, our very specialized <laughs> bag for this stuff. Let's see, what do we what do we do next? Oh, Malbec. We like Malbec. Malbec will be nice. Yeah. So next time, Battle of the Malbecs. It'll be good stuff. Oh yes. All right. Well, that was wine battles for today. Uh, oh, you know what? Oh. We should know. We did use the Vivino app. We did. And so check that out. You know, it, it didn't really play a whole lot into our decision this no, time. No, it gave you a rating on the wine if mm -hmm. you've never seen it and just some, you know, other people's reviews and opinions of it. But Yeah, we'll, we'll have to do a longer review of it because it is interesting and it would probably make choosing wine so much easier. <laughs> But, you know, again, wine is so subjective, you should try it all. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Yep. We have a lovely bag that we're giving we away do. when we, we hit do. 50. So click that button and this and a bottle of wine could be yours. Absolutely. And don't forget to visit us. We have so many places where we post stuff. Life with Wine 30 is our handle. We are on blogger.com. We're on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, <laughs> all kinds of fun places. So, I mean... Come check it out. Yep. We love you guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye.